There are 5 grams of sugar in a tablespoon of ketchup. A 400 milliliter bottle contains 150 grams of sugar that is equal to 30 teaspoons of sugar. In addition to preservatives, flavorings, and artificial colors, many people have the sugar crunch morning, the breakfast cereal that promises a burst of energy to kickstart your day. But beware, because behind those cheerful mascots and enticing flavors lurk a hidden danger, excessive sugar. It may seem like a convenient breakfast option, but starting your day with this sugary delight can lead to energy crashes, difficulty concentrating, and, over time, health issues like weight gain and an increased risk of diabetes. Depending on the brand, 25 to 55 percent of it is sugar. A 550 milliliter bottle of barbecue sauce contains 180 grams of sugar. That is equal to 36 teaspoons of sugar. In addition to preservatives, flavorings, and artificial colors, there are 100 grams of sugar in a 500 milliliter jar of sweet relish. That is equal to 20 teaspoons of sugar. In addition to preservatives, flavorings, and artificial colors, this is made of palm oil, some skim milk powder, some cocoa powder, hazelnuts, and this amount of sugar. This means, according to the manufacturer, each serving which is two tablespoons contains 21 grams of sugar. That is equal to four teaspoons of sugar. In addition to preservatives, flavorings, and artificial colors, if you are concerned about your health and you feel that you are learning from our channel, subscribe and join our family and hit the notification button so you won't miss any video. And if you would like to know what you will learn by doing so, please continue watching and the answer is in the end of this video. Sugar plays a ubiquitous role in the modern diet, adding sweetness and palatability to a wide array of foods and beverages. While it enhances the flavor of many culinary delights, excessive sugar consumption poses significant health concerns. Found naturally in fruits and some vegetables, sugar is also added to countless processed foods, contributing to the prevalence of excessive sugar intake in contemporary diets. Food manufacturers often use various forms of sugar, such as sucrose, high fructose corn syrup, and other sweetening agents to enhance the flavor profile of products. These fruit bars look like a healthy snack option, a seemingly healthy choice for those on the go. Don't be deceived by the appearance and packaging statements that make you think you are making a healthy choice, but these bars are loaded with unhealthy ingredients. Little do consumers know, these fruit bars are packed with hidden sugars, artificial sweeteners, and preservatives. In addition, they don't taste as natural as the claims. This 37 grams fruit bar contains 22 grams of sugar. That is equal to more than four teaspoons of sugar. As the name Healthy Choice indicates, six grams of protein and an attractive picture of chicken and vegetables, this chicken vegetable soup must be healthy. However, this 14-ounce container has five teaspoons of sugar in addition to preservatives, flavorings, and artificial colors. Each serving, 128 grams of canned fruit contains 18 grams of sugar. There are three and a half servings per can. This means that this can contains more than 14 teaspoons of sugar. Let's dive into the world of a frozen delight that many of us adore, ice cream. Who can resist the temptation of a scoop of ice cream on a hot day? But what most of us don't realize is that behind that delightful sweetness lies the not-so-sweet truth about the hidden enemy, sugar. Depending on the brand, a 200 milliliter of ice cream contains between 30 to 50 grams of sugar. Did you know that a single scoop of some popular ice creams can contain more sugar than a candy bar, in addition to the amount of sugar in the cone? This makes it a sugar bomb that can wreak havoc on our health. We need to mention some brands of yogurt, salad dressings, sweet soy sauce, and some brands of peanut butter. Excessive sugar consumption has been linked to various health issues, including obesity, type 2 diabetes, and cardiovascular diseases. The rapid absorption of refined sugars can lead to spikes in blood glucose levels, followed by crashes, impacting energy levels and contributing to cravings. 
Additionally, the overconsumption of sugary foods is a major factor in the global rise of obesity, especially among children. In response to growing health concerns, there has been increased scrutiny of added sugars, leading to nutritional labeling reforms in many countries. Health-conscious consumers are now more aware of the need to moderate their sugar intake, opting for healthier alternatives and advocating for clearer labeling practices. Balancing the enjoyment of sugary treats with a mindful approach to overall dietary habits is crucial for maintaining a healthy lifestyle. So, what can we do to make informed choices? It's simple. Start by reading the labels. Look out for terms like sucrose, high fructose corn syrup, and excessive grams of sugar per serving. Hello, diabetes challengers. Welcome to our channel. My name is Dr. Ali Qasim, and I have discovered that I have diabetes in 2007. Our channel is about giving you a new perspective on your health that will empower you and allow you to make healthy changes for a healthier you. Once you understand how much power you have over your health and your body, you will become excited about how much you can do. And then when you make the decision to become a master of your health, you will change to new healthier habits. Because as long as we keep the old habits that cause all our health issues, we will not get any better. Once you make that decision, you will have control over your body rather than your body controls you. I started taking my medication in 2011 until 2017. At that time, I used to take uh, four types of medication, metformin, Jardians, Diamicron, and Tragenta Dole. And in that time, my HbA1c was 10.7. And because of the harm these medication made to my body, I decided to stop taking these medications completely. At once in one night, I decided not to take any kind of medication and adjust my diet. In two weeks time, I managed to control my blood sugar from 9.8 to 5.4 or 5.5 since then until today without any medication. And I will share all the information and all the experience with you. I have studied diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity, and my main references uh, are Mayo Clinic, Harvard University, USDA, the Authority of Agriculture uh, in UK and in Australia. In this channel, you will learn scientific information about diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity, about food, uh, like fruit, like vegetables, meat, fish, spices, vitamins, minerals, and almost every edible thing. My body weight used to be 110 kilograms, and within three months, I dropped 27 kilograms, uh, and since then, until now, as you can see, my weight is 83, which is the ideal weight. You will understand how amazing your body is, and you will learn to master your health, stay healthy naturally, and have a quality life. Not only you will add years to your life, but also you will add life to your years. If your health is important to you, I suggest you join the Challengers family, those who challenge diabetes, and do not forget to hit the bell button so you will not miss any new video because maybe a solution or an answer to your question uh, is in that video. I would like to thank all our family members, those who join the channel, and those who are going uh, to join with my heartfelt gratitude. I hope to see all of you over the top with a healthy, wealthy, and prosperous life. Thank you for watching with my heartfelt gratitude.